Okay. All right, everybody. Miami Central Station over here in Miami. So we are streaming live. So we got people that have come over here. There's uh, Dante right here, right? Yes. All right, awesome. Well, welcome aboard. So we got people that have come in and we got Darius as well that's also joined us here. Hey. Say hi, Darius. Hey. Hi, guys. Okay, so we also have a couple of others that have uh, joined us as well. So we're going to be going touring through the station and answering questions if people have any. Apologies if I'm streaming in portrait mode right now because for some reason the YouTube app is messing me up. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, just roll with it right now. So, yeah, I think our first portrait video, I hate doing thing in portrait. All right, um, the transportation belt, um, he's there in everyone's hearts. Alpha says, wish I could join. Wish you all could join too. So, uh, we'll probably have more of these in the coming years um, as they come along. And we'll have the next one over in Chicago probably in March, so that's where we're going with that. And I got a back t-shirt to the days when uh, Brightline used to be all aboard Florida. And they'll be changing it over to Virgin, um, changing all the signage and marketing to, to Virgin, although I still will miss the Brightline stuff. And I don't know, maybe, maybe they'll still keep it, we don't know. I don't know, what do you guys think? I, I just think Virgin Brightline's got a there's just oh, something know, about yeah, yeah, Virgin Bright, the name Virgin Brightline. Yeah, it's just a lot better. I mean, look, you don't call it Virgin Train, uh, Virgin Planes. You call it Virgin Atlantic, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was a video that was uh, done by Innovation. Yeah. Virgin America as well, but that got absorbed into Alaska. Right. Or Virgin Atlant, uh, Virgin uh, Galactic is not Virgin spaceships. You know, yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not literal like that. You know, it's Virgin. Uh, it's Virgin Galactic or Virgin Voyages, not Virgin uh, cruise ships. Uh, <laughs> right. Darius, what do you think? Oh uh, yeah, don't forget there's going to be a station, a Virgin station over there as well. Yeah, so uh, for those guys who are familiar with Miami, so they're opening up another station by the port as well. So people can come directly, let's say they're coming from Orlando, let's say Orlando International Airport and they go ahead and take the train. They can go straight into the port and basically walk out 10 steps out and they're entering into the port of Miami. Yeah, so and why are they building a station their, at the port uh, of Miami? The, of the port of Miami is right there. Yeah, so technically the port is let me guys show you so you guys can the port is right between the packets. They're literally walking the port from there. Why are they building a station? Yeah, so that is trying to make it easy. So we're right now with this is Central Fair here. So this is pretty cool. Alpha says stuck in cold Michigan. Yeah, I know the cold free about that too. We are in Central Fair in Miami Central Station. Okay, so if you guys will see, the port is right down the street from here. But the FEC also does own a line for freight rail transit that goes across, right across from the American Airlines Arena um, and goes right into port for, uh, of course, for, you know, we have one of the biggest ports in the United States for freight and for, uh, for freighters as well. So that um, station would be right where the cruise ship ports are in. It's a little bit before you get into the freight railroads, so it's in there. Uh, yeah, let me see. Joe Randall says, you know they are creating an Yeah, Turo. So I've used Turo a whole bunch of times, and I love I using Turo. Scooters. Have you ever used those? Yeah. So if you guys can see, there's a couple of those uh, terrible-looking things over there. Lime scooters. <laughs> I hate those scooters. I hate them so much. But, but, I, don't, but, but I, like I just don't like the people that use them. It's just like annoyance. Like I just like to walk. That's more of a personal preference of mine. I mean, if it moves, gets people moving and whatnot. But sure. It gets yeah. you moving faster for certain areas and longer. Honestly. Uh, they're electric, so I mean that helps out. But I would prefer a bicycle. I mean it's a lot faster. I mean, but that's just yeah, more active. This can go anywhere a bicycle could go. Yeah, I mean, what is it? Is it you know utilitarian? Is it more utilitarian? Probably, but is a bike just better all around? Yeah, in my my sense. And, and it's even cheaper. So let's go ahead. Uh, let me turn the camera around so you guys can see. It is a busy 27th of December, uh, so we got this. There's a good amount of people here as well. Yeah, usually it's quiet around downtown Miami around this time, but now 
there's a whole ton of people, so that's a good thing to see. Uh, you know, that there's movement here. And this station has actually brought back a lot of movement because over there in that area, there was a lot of homeless there. Uh, I mean, there was a whole camp right over there. I remember for the longest of time, and that's really cleaned up the area. Uh, you know, some people say that that's bad, but I mean, you know, come on, the, we were trying to help uh, these people, so, you know, it's one way that we can is to try to bring jobs. So we got some other as well. You want to come in the what? Oh, here. Yeah. So that's my dad right here. See the Sorry, resemblance. <laughs> yeah, I'm younger than he is. A... I'm younger than he is. That's uh. Hi. Yeah. So everybody is here, and we're going around. So again, just letting you guys know, we're probably gonna have another one of these somewhere around March, April, uh, coinciding with the High Speed Rail Association's uh, meeting. Like, <laughs> Let's see, you know they're creating uh, someone said, okay, Ruben says stays in station internet is good. Gets close to Miami Street internet tanks. Yep. Wish I was there as well. Love the name, by the way. Thank you. Alright, um, so Ruben said I'm trying to bring back up the comments over here. Okay, why do I have the feeling some are now going to come with the argumentation my railroad gentrify homeless camps? That's kind of always been a thing, uh, with the Flagler system. What do you think of the West Palm Beach station and surrounding area? I was pretty there, it's nice. Very similar to the Fort Lauderdale station. I mean, it's just newly built. But this is completely new. Holy crap, look at this. Okay, this is pretty cool. Look at that, wait, is this? Oh, oh shoot, that's cute. cool. <laughs> I'm gonna be playing around with that all day. <laughs> so this is nice, this is a... Uh, this is a beautiful looking station. I, I was saying it before. Those books are probably fakes. Uh, oh yeah, we got books over there. Yeah. I guess this is just for authenticity. Oh, oh, for the aesthetic, I think. No, no, these are, uh, they're real books. Okay. Yeah. I'm not gonna take them. You know, not my property. <laughs> So please, you know, just just tell people like if there's stations like this and stations around the world, just try to keep them clean. These are these are public spaces oh, for people too, you know. Shoot. So we got oh we got chargers here too and everything. That is so uh, sick. Yeah. Yeah. This is an amazing station, and then look at the the seats <laughs> over here as well. There we are. This is sick. This is pretty cool, guys. <laughs> wow. This is an amazing station. So I was like I was saying before, uh, probably the top modern stations in the United States now are this one and the Oculus up in uh, New York City. So they're you know pretty well done stations. I mean, modern design. I know some people, and I've gone back and forth about you know whether modern design or we go back to our original Art Deco and classical designs. But you know having a mix of it, I guess, works. You know. Don't, don't take it from me, I like the Cybertruck for some odd reason. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm also a fan of, you know, 1930s automobiles. So, I mean, well, you, can like, you can like both, right? There's no law that you can't not like any of them. Let's see some of the comments here. Uh, Joe Strandel says, Is West Palm Beach a good idea to invest since it's right in the middle of Tampa and Miami? West Palm Beach has always been a good place to invest in. Um, that's probably the biggest area in South Florida, the, one of the oldest areas in South Florida. Uh, that's where the breakers are that Flagler first built the hotel there in West Palm Beach and now it's the, the area is only going to get more uh, uh, and the prices are going to just skyrocket because now the president has moved there to West Palm Beach uh, he's now a resident there instead of New York City so uh, the area is going to get pr uh, pretty hyped up uh, wow. with the station and everything yeah it's 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 getting good so South Florida is you know, coming back pretty good, so hopefully it stays like that. Uh, when are we going to see a video on the 737 MAX disaster? That will be interesting to do. I don't know if it's appropriate for this channel. Probably I should do it on my second channel soon. I know you guys have been asking about, you know, if I'm going to do something on the second channel because I'm... I have, I have a whole bunch of gaming footage that I want to put on there. There's even uh, more information on the... on on aviation stuff like uh, DJ's aviation yeah 
Uh, again, I'm not, I'm not the aviation guy here. I'm more of the yeah. train and car guy. So aviation type of stuff, that's something for me to learn with. But maybe on the second channel, you know, it's a good way to learn, research, and share that research too. Let me see if I can get more comments here. All right. Midland Trans Train Spotter. He's in the UK, so I can't come. Well, I'll take Virgin Atlantic around, right? <laughs> come on over. That's the best way to come. All right. So, I guess we're all over here. So. Ready? There's... Hi. Hi. <laughs> Got everybody here. So this is a, it's a pretty nice station. I'm enjoying it. All right, let's go check out. Let's see what they got over there. I think there's just more construction over there. Yeah. Because, again, they haven't built they haven't the rest of this here. This is just supposed to be, it's not for restaurant-specific seating, but this is just more um, area seating. It's quiet over here. Renell Reed says you should ride Brightline one day. I think you should, man. Just come on down. I think you're up in uh, Buffalo, right? Buffalo, New York. Yep. There is a... Uh... Yeah, it's some, there's some stuff here. Thanks for the answers. Joe Strandall says, is Hyperloop ever going to happen? LOL. So Hyperloop, again, I... Done out a couple of videos on the Hyperloop already, as you guys can uh, yeah. check out on the channel. Hi uh, Hyperloop is more like Hyperloser. Hyperloser. I should probably call it Hyper Goop or Hype Goop. <laughs> like uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. Have you guys seen the John Tron uh, video of uh, Goop? No. No, that's pretty funny. So, it, for, like some backstory. So, Gwyneth Paltrow, the, the actress, she came up with some uh, makeup line or cosmetics line. It's all based in mysticism or some sort of uh, BS like that. And it's, you know, basically a scam. Oh, we got some trains over here. Here come the people movers, or as they call them now, metro movers. Yeah. I parked at Park West, six dollars for 24 hours. Yeah, so that, that's a pretty good price. I think my, my, Miami parking uh, pricing is uh, not too exorbitant. Yeah. Worst, funny enough, uh, Worst in New York is Chicago uh, parking prices. Those are terrible. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're Let paying alone like, New York. Yeah. Well, New York's oh. bad, but Chicago's worse. Funny enough. Huh. Yeah. Which is that's what I've noticed. Yeah, that's like that's like almost York, fifty percent more of the price. Of, yeah. But I was I was, I was saying at Hyperloop uh, because it's just the technology is it was supposed yeah, to come out in the Alpha document has completely changed up. Yeah, it's I basically think. turned into a maglev. Uh, private uh, rail transit, uh, a PRT hub uh, pod in a tube, and it's, that's how it's downgraded. I mean, even the speeds, everybody says, oh, it's going to be 760 miles an hour. Then Richard Branson said, it's, oh, it's going to be 600 miles an hour. Now they're saying it's going to be 500 miles an hour. By the time they get it up, uh, the maglevs are already going to be going faster than they have over in Japan. So why waste the time? Why waste the money in making inferior technology? That's what it is. It's inferior technology. So this is pretty cool over here. Let me go ahead and turn the camera around so you guys can be able to see. Again, they're still in construction over here, getting stuff done, but it's they're still it's still working as it is, which you know is crazy in Florida things to work while in construction. Let's see if we can bring back up the comments here. There we are. Hold on. Uh, Grambo asks, hey Demetrius, any opinions on problems with the Spaniard high-speed rail system when it comes to funding infrastructure and the fears that it may be obsolete? The the Spaniard's overbuilt, as it is. I mean, I can say that I'm part Spaniard, right? So, they, they got way too cocky. They overbuilt a whole ton of lines and thought that it was going to be bigger than it was going to be. And you just have lines that are empty because... Um, there are places that don't really serve as a much of a population. They didn't really go ahead and do the due diligence before and do enough studies to go ahead and say, well, maybe these lines will be profitable. The other lines are not going to be so much. So you have some, you know, Barcelona to Madrid that's basically holding up everybody and, um, you know, carrying the other lines in terms of uh, in terms of fares and revenue and whatnot. So that's how it is. Okay. Uh, Schenectady, upstate New York. Okay, so that's where you're from, uh, Rental. Awesome. Haven't been to Schenectady yet. I should ride some actual Amtrak and Brightline to compare each other, but from the short hops I had on Amtrak Midwest, I don't feel too convinced about Amtrak case. Yeah, Amtrak in the Midwest is actually better than most of other Amtrak lines. Funny enough. Yeah. They're huh. still trying to cut the 
the St. Louis corridor to four, four and a half instead of five and a half. <laughs> this was funny. So Ruben said over here, wait, if I can bring up the comments. The Hyperloop is going to be 700 miles an hour. Can you believe going at the speed of 600? Going 500 miles an hour is so much faster than trains. I can't wait to go 400 miles an hour. You'll be hearing back from me about that 700 miles an hour. <laughs> Let me see. Where's uh? Why do the comments keep disappearing? And dang it, YouTube. We don't. We don't want the the freaking child censorship or stuff. Just make the platform better. Uh, Jill Strandall asks, "What do you think about the possibility of Las Vegas to Los Angeles?" That's probably going to be the biggest money maker. Now, for what Virgin is planning uh, to stop at Victorville. I understand, you know, it's hard to go ahead and build into... Los uh, Angeles. Yeah, that's going to be hard. Um, yeah, because so, they got to go through the mountains right. first. I mean, if, they, you know, the stop at Victorville, I'm iffy about it because, I mean, at that point, if I'm driving an hour out of Los Angeles, you know, and I just got two more hours left to go over to Las Vegas, why should I, why should I stop in the train station and take the train? You know, you know it's... Uh, I mean, if they can get it all the way Los Angeles, yeah. But if they can get it all the way to Los Angeles, though, oh, no, we're all right. So someone said if we can find a Chick Fil A here, uh, there's a Chick Fil A open in Miami Central. I don't know. I haven't seen it. Joanne Gonzalez, don't forget Florida. Love you. Yep, Florida born and raised. Okay, hold on. Will there be more competitive firms that are similar to Amtrak, but instead private and not state funded? Um, this is it. This is uh, Brightline. That's going to be the one to do it. Yeah. All right, you guys want to go? Someone wants to see if we can find a Chick Fil A here. So I don't know oh, if there is. Yeah, I'm down. Hold on. I don't know. Hey, uh, quick question. You know this Chick Fil A in the station that yeah, they opened yeah. up? Oh, there is. Yeah, there's a pop up. One. Oh, there's a pop up one. Yeah, if you go up to the, up to the other entrance way, you can ask. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay. So guys, there is a Chick Fil A in here. Interesting. Uh, yeah, no more having to go to Miami, all the way out to Miami Lakes for a Chick-fil-A. Yeah, I don't know why. It's like, the, you know, it's either I have to go all the way over there or go all the way over to uh, Pembroke Pines for a Chick-fil-A. Or down to uh, FIU. I don't know if the one down at FIU Modesto campus is still there. Let me see. Let's ask. Uh, imagine Amtrak of a maglev. Imagine Amtrak actually doing what it's supposed to do. Eric says we need a comic strip. I used to make comics when I was a kid and back in middle school too, and actually sold them. Those were those were fun days. Uh, let's see. Engineer Railman, when I found out about the grind opening of Orlando Station, I'll definitely be going. Yeah, I'll probably be going there too. Um, it's a lot easier to get flights from Indy down to Orlando. If I haven't moved down already, or I don't know, we'll see. Going to build into LA would be difficult. Imagine if some certain Californian train industry would have started construction in LA and certain train line. Yeah, that would have been nice instead of in the Central Valley. Yes, but the road close to Las Vegas is closed today. Is it? Okay, so they said the pop up was over, I think, toward the left or something? Or? Yeah, he said down and down the hall and to the left. <laughs> I, that, that line got banned in Canada for some reason, if you guys get the joke. Where is it? You sure it's still in here? I think it's down... Uh, I think he said down there. Well, just go ahead and uh, look, right? Let's see. Hello everybody who's uh, joined into the stream so far. Welcome aboard. So we have our meetup in Brightline um, on the internet as well. I'm not seeing it here. Nope. I think it's more down there. Okay, well we see Brightline trains running on the Northeast Corridor one day. That's a stretch, man. That's a real stretch. Again, FEC owns all the way just up to Jacksonville. If they're going to go up and... Uh, that, that's a matter of seeing if they can even be able to use the right-of-way on CSX and Norfolk Southern. I, I, I doubt it. But, you know, is it a possibility? Nothing's impossible. That's all I'm leaving it at. 
Would Port St. Lucie be good to invest if they have a steward station? I think Joe Strandall's the, the real estate guy on here, man. He's trying to find as much property as he can to stack it up before uh, before they start coming in. Probably if they do do the steward station, yeah. I mean, property values are going to go up in Aventura once that station gets built over there as much as it is. That's that's going to be the big money maker. If they, they get a skywalk into Aventura Mall, it's going to be raining money. Uh, Michael KJ asked, talking about the speed, there are some lines which operate an average speed of 50 kilometers per hour. It may happen the economics above the red line, even in France. Let's see. I'm not seeing it. I mean, if there was a Chick-fil-A, it would be... There would be a lot of people in there, right? Yeah, there was a... The guy said there was a Chick-fil-A pop-up around here. Yeah, so this... Well, they sometimes open this up for... Uh, this is for when people are coming off the train. If there's an overflow, I've come down here a couple of times. But yeah, this is supposed to be for the tri-rail... Jeez, uh, Coastal Link. There we go. It's the Coastal Link. That was supposed to be the platforms were there. The, most they're, the furthest they're ever going to get is the downtown link. Yeah, if they, if they ever get it done. I'm sorry. What? How do you get it? It's from here, right? Or like those, those are... To get what? The escalator to get the train. No, the escalator for the train are all the way over there. Oh, those over there. Okay. Yeah. But it is on the third floor then? The platforms are up on the third floor, yeah. Oh, okay. This one is for the... Uh, What's the other one? This the metro mover? Yeah. No, this is not for the metro mover. So this was going to be the platforms for the coastal link. So there was a whole big thing um, a couple years ago that they wanted Brightline, the station, to build uh, two more platforms or something like that for tri-rail. And the city and the SFRTA got funding from that from the city of Miami, the county, and also the state to get that done. However, um, Tri-Rail and uh, the South Florida Rail Transit Authority hasn't moved forward with the Coastal Link. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. So you see uh, the ghosts of that was still there. Uh, yeah, so there you are, Tri-Rail Track 5. If it ever opens up, we don't know. But at this rate that uh, Tri-Rail is moving and what... Brightline is planning to open up the stations at Aventura and probably Boca Raton, which, I mean, at that pace, it'll probably be better because Tri-Rail usually has to have stops every five miles or so. Um, so, I mean, that's going to be a bigger money maker. It's less to manage. Uh, more uh, more fair revenue is going to come in through that. So, uh, And at the rate that the city moves when it comes to transportation um, in the public sector, it, it's probably not going to happen at this rate. We'll see. You know, would it be nice? Probably, but I doubt it. Talking about fast food and train stations, they brought food poisoning into Belgium by opening the first Burger King a few months ago. I feel sorry for you guys. I hate Burger King. <laughs> I, I just hate it. Uh, their strawberry shakes aren't even real. Yeah. Chick-fil-A's got the best in America. Yeah. Joe Strandall wrote a comment over here. I can't say that on YouTube, but I'll just answer yes. That's all. Yes, yes, and yes. Uh, probably the most is in Broward County, I think. Um, if Amtrak would give up the monopoly on the NEC, you could see some actual low fare train companies between DC and New York City. It would be a no-brainer. Yeah, probably would be. Um, Georgi Zirkov, I think I spelled, uh, pronounced your name correctly. Have you tried the TGV yet? No, I haven't even been to Europe yet, funny enough. Uh, I would I've like been, to, for sure. I've been there, but never been on the rail. Oh, you haven't been on it, though? No. Oh. They had it right there. They, right in the corner. Okay, so it was there in the corner. Yeah. Was there. Oh. All right. So, guys, we found the Chick-fil-A. It was that pop-up in the corner, but right now it's uh, closed. I don't know if it's closed for the holidays or... I mean, could be. Airport Central Link doesn't cost as much, and the tracks are already there. Yeah, the, they could... I think actually I think the trains are short enough to go into the Miami International Airport uh, train station, the Miami Central Station over there. Um, the plat, because okay, so there was a whole thing a couple of years ago that they built a new station in the Miami Airport. That was Miami Central, that not that Miami Central Station. Yeah. So Tri-Rail operates out of there, and I used to take that all the time to go to work when I was working in Coral Gables and take the. 
um, the bus down there. Um, however, when they made the platforms, they measured them too short for Amtrak trains. Yeah. I mean, think of it. Season, they, they go up to like 12 cars. Yeah. So think of it. You have this big, but yeah. they can only accommodate half that. Yeah. So you have this big project. You have, you know, billions of dollars being spent for a station, and you mess up a measurement in the two dimensions. It's just the length measurement that you messed that up, and now you can't get Amtrak uh, trains there. So I don't know, but the last time I visited there was years ago. Unless Amtrak can start a regional service to Tampa, they used to have the Silver Palm. Yeah, if they do, so, but they're probably they're not going to once this yeah. thing starts going to Tampa. That's that's over. Yeah, that's, that's done. Done. Let me see. Any thoughts on the ludicrousism that is coming from those who are in opposition towards HSR? Yeah, I've done a couple of. Uh, uh, things on that as well. Uh, there was an older video that we did on um, some myths, breaking some myths about high-speed rail, but that was years ago. We're coming up with a new video at this race, probably going to be sometime next year. Wait, next year's in five days, did right? Did you see Patrick Goddard? What is he? This, this man that just walked by. This, as in the president of uh, at Brightline? That, that sounded and looked a lot like him. That could have been, I don't know. Dante saying that Patrick Goddard just uh, moved uh, over here. Just past us. You never know. You never know. Uh, Michael KJ uh, wrote on the TGV. He said it was a special experience. Eric Gustafson said something about PTC issues. I don't know what's that in, uh, uh, in relation to, but let me see. Do you think Brightline would ever elevate the tracks and use more components of high-speed rail rather than the higher speed? Uh, yeah, well, the new tracks that they're building from Coco to Orlando are is not going to have any uh, any level crossings, so it's going to be elevated the whole way through, um, and that's also some estuaries as well there, so they have to be elevated. So that's going to be pretty cool to see. Okay, so time is 12:08. You guys want to check out downstairs a bit? Yeah. All right. Let's go downstairs over here and uh, see what's down there. Maybe we'll uh, end it there. Let me see. All right, down the escalator we go. Oh, this is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I, I love this part over here. The this neon sign right over here. The the well the LED sign. I think that is LED, right? Yes. Yeah, that's a, that's LED. Not neon. Maybe if it was 1984, yeah, neon, but this is uh, 2020 now. We're going into 2020, guys. Okay, so they moved the 305 sign over here. I still have kept my 305 number. No matter where I move, 305 moves with me. Okay, they've had to put... Uh, this is new here. So do rock with it. Don't lean with it. Funny. There you are, hashtag 305. You can always leave the 305, but the 305 never leaves you. So this is pretty nice. If you guys have kids, or even if you, the, for the kid in you, if you want to ride the Polar Express also on Bright Line, I hear it's a very special and awesome experience. Mm -hmm. Kind of costly, yeah, but uh, it's interesting. So Dante, you're going on uh, the Polar Express ride, right? Uh, yeah, but not out here, but out of Fort Lauderdale. Oh, okay. I'm going to be meeting a friend on Tri-Rail who um, is also tagging along. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, if you guys want to do any shout-outs to any other channels or anybody else on here, you know, go ahead and do that. No, nothing that will get me banned, though, from YouTube, please. <laughs> package is starting from 189. I don't know what that is. I mean, for me, I've lived in this area all my life. I mean... Well, not all my life. I mean, two years now in Indiana, but I mean, the Bahamas to me are just, uh, you know, the same thing. So why bother with the Caribbean? I'm already here. Merry Christmas, everybody. Yes, Merry Happy Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah as well. Saying that correctly, Hanukkah. So here's the cool thing where you go ahead and get your tickets here. So this is kind of similar. It's actually cleaner than the, the Japanese system because they have like some of the old kiosks over in yeah. Japan. So this is completely brand new over here. So let me go ahead and turn the camera around. 
so you guys can see. So those are the times that we got now for the trains. Go ahead, you can book a line, upgrade, print tickets. Mm -hmm. There you go. It's pretty responsive too. Pretty cool. Get a round trip. See Miami, West Palm Beach. Uh, let's say we go ahead and get it for today. Search trains, what do we got available? What are the prices? These prices also help. Yeah. You got smart. So select is basically first class and you also get food um, available as well. Which basically for the price of what the food you're going to get. No, I want to continue. Bet your ass I will. <laughs> okay. So 20, 35, so that's pretty good from, let's see, more times. So the prices get up during uh, rush hour. So that makes sense. They're pretty good prices, yeah. Ah, um, so this is, uh, I guess, for the, the heat. The heat game? Yeah. Oh, they go off. Okay, uh, buzzer beater, train service, round trip starting from. Okay, interesting. So here's the cool thing about this. Usually, the trains stop at around 10, 11 o'clock. But for the days that the Heat, the Miami Heat is playing the basketball team for you guys that are, you know, not in the, not in the know. Um, so they do trains overnight uh, from 11 to 12, uh, 11 to 12.40. So you can be able to get up to, let's say you live in West Palm Beach, you came to see the game. You can get back, you know, for 30 bucks, which is, you know, at a good price, especially for what you're getting. They also, they also do those late trains for concerts okay as yeah well. that's pretty cool so for the anybody that goes to the adrian arch yeah. center i wanted the i saw i saw on bright lane story once that they're gonna have late trains for ariana grande okay yeah that's gonna be cool yeah so thank you next yeah <laughs> all right so here's the first floor of the station so you guys can see again i didn't want to do this in portrait but that's what we got so but at least you guys can see a different angle of it. Pun intended. Maybe. Oh, they got a pet relief area too. Area de mascotas. <laughs> Joe and the juice. It's a good, uh, I like the tea from here. Let's see what we got. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Uh, someone asked, what about the Sunrail Corridor? Uh, I live in Make. Lake Mary, Florida. So Sunrail, I haven't heard much news on the Sunrail. Uh, unless Dante, you've heard anything about Sunrail? If they're going to be doing any more uh, upgrades or expansions for Sunrail? No. The, the only the only proposed expansion is from uh, forgot the name of that station. From that to uh, to the Intermodal Center. Okay. Yeah, because I know the Intermodal Center is going to be for Sunrail too. So yeah. there's going to be connections that once you get up on Bright Line into the Orlando station, which is in the airport, uh -huh. that you can be able to just transfer onto Sunrail and continue to anywhere else in Orlando. So if you want to go to downtown Orlando, there's your ticket over there. Or if you want to continue, I guess they're going to do continuation from the Orlando station into Disney World and then also into yeah. Tampa. So that's going to be pretty cool. Someone's message was retracted on here. I don't know who did it, but I'm um, a free speech zone over here. So if you want to have your message on there, try it again. I don't know if uh, the YouTube sensors are added again. All right. So this is pretty cool. All right. I think we got, we're at 34 minutes. We're going to be here. I guess we'll uh, end it early and we'll say in about 10 minutes or so. We'll go ahead and answer any questions you guys want to go ahead. So. Anybody you got anything you guys want to say? Any questions you want to ask? Bill Strandall asks, any thoughts on Bitcoin? It's not the investment channel, man, but I mean, if you want my thoughts on Bitcoin, I'm not the one to be saying it. Uh, you know, it was a good year for Bitcoin, I'll say that. I mean, if you invested sometime in April, yeah, that would be a good, uh, that would have been a good time. Uh, is it going to reach 20,000 next year? Good chance, probably. I think so, I don't know. Invest in Bitcoin. Invest in gold, silver. Eric Gustafson, said we have a pitiful light rail system called the Tide. The Tide, wait, the Tide's over in, uh, where's the Tide in? That's in uh, Tampa or? Where's the Tide? The light rail system? Uh, no. No. Wasn't that, I know there no, was supposed to be one no, open. Tampa's, Tampa's trolley system is called Teco. Okay. 
David Mitchell, so how long before they start building the high-speed rail line in Texas? Uh, that's going to be about two years or so, the way they say it. I would, I would expect it a little bit more at the rate things are moving, especially um, with the... Oh, man. I should have taken some coffee this morning instead of a uh, non-sweet tea at McDonald's. Uh, <laughs> so, with the eminent domain issues, there we go, eminent domain issues that they're having over in Texas, uh, that's probably going to be a little bit longer uh, than it should be. So, we'll see if that goes up to even the Supreme Court of Texas or District Supreme Court or uh, even gets appealed higher than that. We never know. Um, SNCF is a company with culture and improving its services. Are they economically smart? I'm not sure about it. French state-owned SNCF would love to invest in the U.S. They have packages of high technology. Yeah, SNCF has always been a company that's been trying to get its leg into the United States for the longest of time, since the 80s. Uh, funny enough, in Texas, uh, since we were just talking about it, they were going to build a system there called the Texas Triangle until a little company called Southwest Airlines uh, basically lobbied it to death. Imagine the DC to New York City on Brightline versus Acela. Which one you think would be better? Um, depends how many stops is going to be, how fast is it going to go. Really, it's more about the the right of way and where this is going to be because right now the Northeast Corridor really needs to be upgraded. Yeah. Any thoughts on Cuomo calling an assembly on why the HRS is a failure? Uh, not quite sure. I haven't been on top of that. Uh, Craig asks, meet up in Indiana. Eh, probably I'll do a meet up in Indiana. Why not? Uh, I'd probably be better over in Chicago because that's where more people are. To be honest. All right. Anybody want to say anything for uh, nobody on YouTube? All stops for Brightline goes on its normal speed. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and take a. We'll end it out here. Out here with uh, the sign says uh, Virgin. Central. So, you know, did you guys see the video? So, when they first unveiled the sign, the new yeah. sign, yeah, that Richard Branson almost got hit by the one Good. of the pylons that were holding it up. Yeah. All right. So, we're gonna end this here early, guys. Will you do a meeting in upstate New York? We'll see. If there's any uh, interest there. Okay. So, we thank you everybody for joining on board. Think of part. 2019 on the American Rail Club. So in a new decade to come. Yep. So thank you everybody for coming on board. We'll see you all soon. It's unbelievable how far we came this decade. Yeah. So new videos are going to be coming on um, also next year as well. So we've reached um, at the current time. I think we're at 15.8 thousand subscribers. So 15.8k. All right, everyone. See you all next time. Take care. All right. Take care, everyone.